Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. This is just a real quick video um, about uh, printing flexible materials in a Bowdoin uh, style printer. A lot of people say you can't do it. A lot of people say it is just not possible or it's next to impossible or, or uh, you know, it just takes a whole lot of work to do it. I just printed off something. I haven't even taken it off the build plate yet. Um, I want to show you uh, what I printed and how I did it with a Bowdoin style printer. This is my heavily modified ANET A8. Started out life as an ANET A8. It's now an AM8, but it's also got a E3D V6 hot end on it. Um, and, uh, you know, custom setup here. And I just printed this guy right here. You know him as the flexible octopus. You've probably seen him around. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get him off the build plate. Let's see if I can set this right here. All right. So you can see here, flexible octopus um, that I printed on uh, on this AM8 printer, and uh, how I did it, how I got my Bowden style, uh, how I got my Bowden style printer to do it, is that you do have to make a, uh, a small 3D printed item. Uh, in order to make it work and I'll show you what I did and uh, I will pop this item up on Thingiverse so you can download it if you've got an ANET A8 um, it will work with that and uh, it is this little piece right can't hardly see the printer to do it here this little piece right here it's it uh, takes up the gap in the in the gear here, and then there's also inside of that a piece of uh, Bowden tube, a piece of PTFE tube that I have trimmed uh, to make that that uh, angle here, and it feeds in, and success. Now you do have to print slow, like painfully slow. I think I printed this. Uh, at uh, about 12 millimeters a second. So it printed very slowly and uh, very painfully slow. This thing took like three hours and 22 minutes according to the timer, um, but it is possible. I might be able to make this a little bit better. You can see there's some stringiness here. Um, I might be able to adjust my settings a little bit. Had to turn my fan completely off to get it to print, but it did print. You can print flexibles on a Bowden style printer. You just have to have uh, a few little modifications and print slowly. So it is possible. Um, and uh, you can also go to, if you check out uh, 3D Maker Noob's uh, post on his little edition for the AlphaWise U10 and U20, uh, there's a little piece that goes into the AlphaWise U10 and U20 that he 3D printed, and you can put that in your AlphaWise, and it will it will print uh, flexibles. He has that piece up on on uh, Thingiverse also, and um, so yeah, if you want to print flexibles, just make the, make sure that gap is as small as possible in between your gear and uh, and your Bowden tube, and uh, get busy with it. Um, Keep printing, keep printing cheap.